hello welcome back to another video in this video we'll talk about what is form in dynamics 365 finance and operation okay so first we'll understand that what is actually form okay in dynamics 365 finance and operation a form is a visual interface that allow user to interact with data and perform tasks within the system it's essentially a window that represent the information and provide tools for user to view edit enter and manipulate data so in simple term we can say that a form in dynamics 365 is a user interface element that allow user to enter view and interact with the data in the system now let's take an example of a form so if you'll open the application explorer and if you'll open right click uh, on sales table and if you'll click on the designer view on designer then it will be open and from there you can see that this is the structure physical structure in visual studio uh, for the sales table form itself and you can see in the right section in the middle in the design section it is having a pattern and it is talking about the details transaction so it is of the pattern detail transaction so uh, various types of forms are there and based on the pattern the design style of the form will be different and it can have different types of control like action pane you can see here navigation list is there main tabs is there okay and inside this tab various types of controls also there you can see there is a grid is there details uh, tab page details is also there so this is the simple example of a form and in this left section you can see that a form can have a data sources it can have a method it can have an event also it can have parts so we can add form parts inside a one particular form Forms are composed of various controls such as button, grid, tab, and fields that display or manipulate data from one or more data sources. Data sources are usually tables or views that are stored the data in the database. Forms can also have the method which are block of X++ code that define the logic and the behavior of the form or its controls. Forms can be created or modified using the form designer in the Visual Studio that I have shown a uh, few minutes ago where you can drag and drop control set you can set properties and you can write the code forms can also be applied with patterns so pattern is the most important thing to create forms in Dynamics 365 uh, uh, application so we'll talk about patterns in more details so when we will create different types of form there are different types of patterns are available okay and patterns which are predefined layout and structure that ensure consistency and usability across the application form are one of the main uh, element in dynamics 365 as they provide the user interface to work with the data and functionality of the system okay now if we'll talk about patterns form patterns are integrated part of the form development experience this pattern provide the form structure based on the style which include required and optional control pattern patterns are also provide many default control properties while applying a form pattern is not a required part of the form development process we recommended it as a best practices in addition to top level form patterns sub pattern can also be ap applied to container controls and provide guidance and consistency for sub patterns or a uh, form such as a fast tab okay patterns make form development easier by providing a guided experience to ensure that the form are correct and consistent patterns help validate form and control structure and it validates the use of the control in some places so you have to remember all these points because it's important to
to know before you drive into the development of a form patterns also help guarantee that each new form that a user encounter is immediately recognizable in appearance and function because patterns provide many default layout properties forms help ensure as a responsive layout okay so if you'll use it in the mobile screen it should show if you'll open it in the uh, desktop device or large device so that's why the responsiveness of the form is very much important finally pattern also help and guarantee better compatibility uh, with patches hot fixes and upgrades because the style and the design of the form may change in the future that's why patches hot fixes and upgrades compel compatibility is very much important with the patterns okay many of the form style and templates from the microsoft dynamics x 2012 continue to be supported in finance and operation app if a legacy form style or template is no longer supported there is a likely a uh, migration path to the current pattern now we'll talk about different types of form patterns many form patterns are used in uh, finance and operation apps so now i'll talk about few of them uh, okay for example number one simple list pattern this uh, simple list pattern used to maintain the data for entries and that contain six or few fields no parent child relationship then we can use the simple list pattern other than this we can have simple list and detail pattern so here we use to maintain the data for use to maintain data for entities that contain six or more fields other than this one simple details pattern is there and this pattern is used for to this this details pattern is used to represent simple set of fields to the user generally it is in the view mode instead of in edit mode so other than this you can have the details master okay so if you open the fm customer you will be able to see the details master form pattern is there and it is used to used as a primary method for encountering the data user can view edit the data that is organized into expandable and collapsible fast tab so so if i'll uh, talk about each and every pattern it will be time consuming so whenever i'll go to that particular pattern and that time we will discuss about that particular pattern so now at this point of time we have just discussed simple list pattern simple list details pattern simple details pattern master details pattern other than this we have detailed transaction pattern that i have shown list pattern also there list page pattern is also there table of contents pattern is there work workspace pattern is there widget pattern is there so other than this there is various types of other patterns are also available so when we will develop uh, one particular form then that time i'll show you each and every pattern that is available in the visual studio okay so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye